Assalamualaikum and very good morning. Um, can you hear me? Yes, doctor. Thank you. Okay, uh, without further delay, uh, let's continue with uh, today's tutorial, tutorial 5 under classes. Okay, so first question, draw a class diagram for the following classes, indicate all the associations between the classes in your diagram. So A, what is your answer? Anyone wants to share the answer? Okay, um, so Emily's answer is customer owns ticket, eh? You're right. And then ticket consists of few, okay, one to four points. Right, correct. But then my answer is like this. I don't say that your answer is wrong, but then um, you can also have aggregation between ticket and coupon because uh, it says that ticket consists of, okay? And B, a ticket is owned by exactly one customer. Each ticket consists of one to four coupons. So it's more or less like A, right? But then the association is different. Okay. So for the... How about... Muhammad answer, yeah, same thing lah. So I just give the attributes. That one is so optional because it doesn't say anything. All of that are my assumption. Okay. All right. Uh, B. B is what? Eh? Eh, sorry. C. In order to generate report, report generator class requires the formatter class. Okay. So what is your answer? Anyone? In order to generate report, report generator class requires the formatter class. Anyone wants to share the answer? The keyword here is require. This one. Okay. Why only Emily share the answer? Orang lain tak buat ke apa? Reporter generator. Okay. Uh, Emily, your reporter generator. 
I recommend you to put it um, whether either you close it together or you put underscore. Okay. And then requires formatter. You use a uh, composition. Composition. Hmm. Acceptable actually. Requires formatter. The formatter class. Other answer? Uh, Mama Arif. In order to generate report, report generate has class uh, report same as Emily lah basically. Eh, but the other way round. The other way round. Ah, yalah. If you use a uh, composition, it should be the other way round. Um, like Mama Arif. Like Mama Afiq's answer. Just like this. It can be something like. It's either you draw it like this. How? Huh? Report generator. Report generator. Okay, if you use composition. Then it means you are telling that report generator um, has to run require lah with the existing of formatter. Anyone has other answer? In this case, because it doesn't say any um, what they call it. Uh, multiplicity, so it's up to you. You can have one, one, one too many. All right. Any other answer? Ah, I want the dependency. My answer is dependency. It's just like this. I understand why your friend give me the composition. Be, uh, compo because it, uh, it means that um, Emily and Muhammad Afik says that in order to run report generator, uh, formatter must be there. It's a, uh, it's not must be there. Require, require is not necessary. Must be there, though. Okay, if you have your answer something like this. Report generator. You have report generator. Requires format. It's a dependency. So this one, it means report generator uh, cannot be cannot be run without formatter. So that statement actually, uh, you can give two answers. This one acceptable. Okay. This one is okay, and this one also is okay. Okay, both are correct because uh, you do not know how the uh, classes looks like it doesn't explain much on the class. Okay, How, what does it mean by requires? What does it mean by requires? This is a. Uh, uh, it can be composition. It can be dependency. If dependency, it means uh, report generator. It means. Um, uh, what they call that? Uh, you can if you remove formatter, report generator cannot cannot be there. It will uh, delete automatically. Re if you use composition, can I check How to say this? 
if you use composition, actually is uh, less accurate. Why? Because D is about report. D is about format. Report and format is uh, is not like it's not like uh, you know it's not like building with room with window. This one is related. You see, so it's a uh, actually for you to use this. Composition is less accurate, even though both uh, in sentence, it means requires. You, you, you will use the word require, you know. You get me? Uh, so actually, this one is, uh, dependency is more accurate. Lah. This is my answer. Okay. Okay, next is uh, D. D also is a dependency. Shopping cart class depends on, uh, this one is a, the keyword is already there. Depends on the product class because the cart class uses the product class as a parameter for an add operation. Uh, this one is quite clear. You cannot have other than dependency because it already says the, this word. First, it says this word. And then it says this word, uh, this uh, this statement. Parameter for add operation. Okay, so it's a definitely a dependency. Okay, all right. So for next question, is um. Hey, that is mine. Okay. Very simple. Generalization and inheritance. Okay. Cla design the class diagram for the following classes using generalization relation. So how? So it's like this. Uh, is um, you have rectangle, circle, polygon. So all of this is about size. Uh, so you just have this lah. Uh. Okay. Generalization. Symbol here. Okay. All right. So next, the third one. Okay. So the third one is quite long. Okay. Uh, okay. A mini market has an online ordering system. There are two types of order, schedule order, regular order, and etc. Okay, draw a an UML. Salah ni. Sorry, eh. we are not English. Uh, course can. Eh, but the English is important. Okay. Draw a UML class diagram to model the existing requirement with these new software requirements. Okay. Where appropriate, your diagram should include association and etc. All right. Okay, for this one, I uh, already asked three groups to prepare their answer. For the rest, you can share your answer in the chat room. So I think I have to go to uh, group Dr. Uh, group Ahmed Aman. Where is Ahmed Aman? Can you invite me to your group? Where is, oh, this one is group, group five. Sorry. So for this group, there is only Tengku lah. Uh, where is Tengku? Here, Dr. Ah, uh, okay. Invite me to your group. All right. Uh, actually, I'm trying to invite Dr. Kat, our team, semalam. So you all should go there. You leave right. the first and then go. I also don't stop. How to? Why? Huh? Why? Mm.
answer answer for this one
Okay, can I see your answer? Oh my God. Double demo, eh? Eh, I don't see any answer. Ke network slow? I don't see any answer. You all should share your answer here. Anyone wants to share your answer? Okay, tak nak sudah. It's okay. Mama Afiq, can you share your answer? Okay, okay, Doctor. All right. Let yeah. me check. Hmm. Okay. okay. Alright, so you can refer to that answer. Okay, Mama Afi answer. Uh, okay, next question will be question number four. So question number four is about conference system. Right, uh, so, okay, this one is quite long. Anyone wants to share their answer? We see Malaya uh, organizes several conferences every year and online conference management system is designed for supporting the process of organizing the conferences with regard to the submitting, reviewing and accepting. Uh, this one alone actually already mentioned some of the uh, thing in the in the system. Okay. And then uh, okay, you start with we see on Malaya organizes several conferences every year an online conference management system is designed to support the process, okay? Organizing the conferences with regards to submit paper, review paper, and decide paper acceptance. So if you look at the second paragraph, you can see there are, there are some nouns that must be exist in the system. When you want to draw a class diagram, it's all, always about noun, you know? The verb is meant for the methods for particular classes. So obviously, this one actually by right, by right lah. See, it keep on repeating paper, paper, paper. So it means paper is will be one of the classes, right? To submit a conference paper, basically paper lah, okay? Or you can have conference paper, doesn't matter. An author is required to fill in author information, okay, by completing an online form. So, this is about author. So, author is another uh, noun, okay. So, what the author can do is can fill in information. Fill in is a verb, so it's not classes. It's a, it will be um, part of the methods, all right, operations. And then uh, it says about input author name, corresponding address. All of this is actually the attribute. Okay. If you know the how the use case looks like, then okay lah, Afi Amal. In this case, we do not know how the use case looks like. But definitely, for your project. Uh, all the actors must exist in the class diagram. Okay. And, all right, continue. The system validates the input data. Okay. Uh, if the information is complete, 
the system will form the submission page to allow the author to submit the conference paper. Okay, if the information is incomplete, the system will prompt an error message to alert the author to re-enter the information. So all of this is about uh, the process. Okay, after completing the information, the author uploads the conference paper still process. Okay, uh, and submit. Once the paper is received and stored, the system returns a reference number to the author. So all of this is, is about the process. What are the attributes uh, involved and what are the action flow of events basically for the author. Okay. And then once a program chair, say you have another, another story. Now it's all about program chair. Assign the paper to reviewer for review. So you have another one. To reviewer for review, system will send an invitation to the reviewer. Why program chair must be one of the classes? Because it's a, it, it, because that person must be in the system. So if program chair must be in the system, there must be a, a, a part where the program chair has register and it has to log in. So program chair is one of the classes. Okay. Uh, if the reviewer accept the invitation, okay, um, the reviewer will receive a review conference code. If the reviewer rejects the invitation, the program chair has to assign the paper to another uh, reviewer. Okay, to review the a paper, the reviewer needs to download the paper by entering the provided review reference code. After reviewing the paper, the reviewer submit the review report to the system. So there is another one. If you look at this, okay. Uh, paper we already there. I have Okay, we already have paper. Paper is already there. And then we also have another noun actually. Reference code. Is reference code is a class? Is a reference code can be a class? Um, what uh, attribute for which class? For which class? Reference code. It's for the paper, lah, right? It's about the paper, right? This one is for the paper, okay? And then, okay, we have this. Okay, after reviewing the paper, the reviewer submits the review report to the system. So we have another noun, which is report. Okay. And then the program chair makes decision either to accept or reject paper according to the review report. So again, uh, as this here, review report, so it means it's part of one of the classes. Okay. Then the program chair updates the status of the paper and sends notification to inform the author. Okay. The program chair sets program schedule. Okay. We got another noun, program schedule. Okay. Uh, for conference by entering the date, time, place for the presentation uh, for each uh, conference paper. Once the program schedule is ready, uh, the authors can view the schedule to check their presentation. The author is there already um, and they may download a copy of program schedule from the website as well. Ah, see? So, the green one are the classes so far so far okay and then you have to reread again in case you miss something this one is the 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 direct one the explicit one okay so uh anyone wants to share your answer
You better share your answer so that you know whether you are on the right track or not. Anyone? Tak ada? No one? Uh, on the way. On the way. <laughs> tak apalah, saya dah share dah. Thank you. But then you just share in case it's a little bit different, you have more better answer might be. Because my answer is a sample solution tau. It's not as uh, exact answer. So if you look at this, my answer, I have accepted P2. Um, doctor, yeah. uh, can I ask a question? Uh, like, uh, if in the question doesn't mention like program chair has username password, uh, should we assume that and put it in our answer? Oh, it's okay. The, you are talking about the author, eh? Uh, oh, uh, in. Ah, uh, yeah, some sort uh, like that, like macam. Like, in the question, the question doesn't mention about login so like don't, that. No, you don't have to. You are wasting your time. You can put, but there is no mark for that. Oh, okay. Uh, it, uh, it is logical. Uh, I will not deduct mark, but then you are wasting your time. Okay. So this one, uh, okay. I'm seeing at your friend's answer. Uh, he got, you got reviewer, program chair. Ah, why do you have system? Why do you have system? Because the, in the uh, sentence, uh, the, this, the system to validate the author. So I think because validate, uh, for me, uh, validate, validate is method, the argument of the, the argument is the author. So I make the one class the system because uh, if, if uh, I read uh, the system validate the author and then what else? And then uh, so it means that from this uh, one, from the author. Ah, uh, this is what your friend is just asked just now. But then you cannot have system. Oh. You cannot have system. You must have like let's say verification. So just uh, change the class names. Hmm. Oh. Oh. But actually, hmm? uh, by having okay, you can also have something here very fast. Okay. Because it doesn't say it is up to you whether you want to create new class by your assumption or that one is a uh, here. It's just part of the uh, one of the methods. But you cannot have this. System, this one memang is a is a taboo, taboo. Unless you <laughs> say uh, unless something like PayPal system you know uh, this one you remember I told you about external system that you can have in the use case. Uh, so this one can exist in the class diagram. So just change the class name. Uh, is it for, right? your, uh, for your situation, you just change the class name into other name lah. Verification class ke apalah, go in class. Okay, thank you doctor. Huh? You guys looks fine. Accept this one. This one uh, accepted papers for mine also is like optional like if you have is okay if you do not have is also fine but then uh, all this information presentation date blah 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 uh, whether you want to put it here or you will put it here you must be there some somewhere in the in the answer because you mentioned about presentation date blah 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 so what are these attributes belongs to which 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 class it belongs to these three attributes. Okay. All right. So next question. All right. FLR football league registration system. Okay. Each football league 
Okay, this one quite interesting. Uh, each football league is made up at least 6 to 20 football teams. Uh, you have to be careful. This one definitely must be in the multiplicity. Okay. Uh, football teams, all right? So definitely you will have football teams. Uh, I will highlight here. Each team, football team or team up to you, each team consists of 11 players. Okay. And then uh, including captain. Uh, so it's another noun. However, if our system shall be able to allow each team to register more than 17 player. Okay. Uh, play, sorry. Which include six reserve. Okay. A team has a name, okay, attribute. Players have a number and a position attribute during a football league, okay. Each game. Do I have game? There, yeah. game has a score and location. Teams are sometimes lead by a coach. Coach, coach. Do I have coach? Not the coach. A coach has a level of accreditation and a number of players of experience and can coach multiple teams. Coaches and players are people and people have names and addresses. Okay, anyone wants to share the answer? Uh, so at least if you can have, at least you have all of these classes, you already have more. Now it's a matter of association between the classes. Usually, student get seldom lah. Student get zero or like less than half marks because if you can get uh, correct classes, then you actually already half mark you already score. Now, now it's more uh, association. Anyone wants to share the answer? Okay, cepat, 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 cepat. Ada 15 minit. We have one more. Anyone? Oh, nice. Oh. Let me see. Okay. Wow. Alright. How to see? I cannot share from here. Uh. Okay, uh, so Ong's answer, if you look at Ong's answer, he has captain, reserve, football team, player, game, football league, coach, people, okay. So people, of course, is uh, aggregation, sorry, inheritance, generalization for player and coach, okay. And then you have coach and football team, okay, never mind. So player actually is a super class for captain and reserve, okay. And then coach, okay, that one generalization settle. Okay, football team. Football team basically composed of, you say players. It, why aggregation not composition on? Um, because I think the players can still survive, although it's not inside the football team. I mean, they yeah, they still can play the football. Is it? But then there's no such a football team if there is no player. Team will not exist without player. Isn't it? The player can play. Uh, lah. Yeah, player I understand. Play, the player can play, but then there will be no team. The team must exist with play. If not, there's no such thing as a team, right? Mm. That one must be composition. Yep. Okay, and then what is another relationship football team led by coach? Led by coach. Okay. Uh, but, okay. Led by coach. Mm, okay. But usually for team also, uh, you must... Um, Okay lah, there are some situations where you have football team but there is no coach eh. 
Okay, you just play by yourself, isn't it? Yeah, the E is stated in the question there, I think. Uh, it's sometimes lead by a coach. Some, uh, there, there is a situation, but okay. All right. This one actually can be your answer or aggregation. Uh, this is the one. Best scenario, there is a coach. When you talk about team, there are players, there, uh, there is a coach, and then uh, they will have lead. You know, the, and then from the teams, from many teams, and then they go for the lead, or the one that you uh, put it is uh, good, lah, it's the correct one. But then coach is, uh, if other students, you know, you can have uh, other than this answer. It's not only find asso association one line, but also you can have uh, aggregation from football to coach okay and then uh what else huh? coach game game what is your game, game okay game game football team okay game composed of okay consists of of course uh, if there is no game then there is no football league that one is confirmed but then uh but the team the team play the game, right? Oh, play. oh yeah. Sorry, forgot about that. Play the game. And then captain. Oh, captain, okay lah. Captain, ca captain and coach is uh, same thing. Uh, either you have this fine, asso fine line association or you can have uh, aggregation. Okay. Some people put composition, but then it depends. I don't mind. Lah. But then you, there must be a relationship between captain to football team and also coach to football team. Okay, uh, all right. Okay, so far, not bad. 11, 17, 6, 20. Okay, association all is more or less okay. Let me share you your answer. Okay, my answer, sorry. This is what I meant by uh, reserve. The team can have reserve. Team, the, uh, this one, okay. Eh? This one is uh, uh, optional. You can also have aggregation. Player, definitely composition. This one, coach, is... Uh, oh, sorry. Okay, you have two answer there, and then game play. Uh, team plays game, and then many teams can go for one league, lah, right? So, but then league cannot exist without teams, right? Or is it can be exist? You should. I think this one is a composition. I'm not really sure. I I do not play football, so I have no idea. You may agak agak aje. This one. Can you have a league without teams? Just league. Eh? <laughs> this one is by buyer is composition lah. I think it's composition eh. Yes ha. Because uh, the teams uh, league cannot exist without teams. Right ha. Okay. Cannot have the league without football teams. Because okay. Nick right. football team to exist. Hmm, correct. At least, okay. Okay, so this is the answer. Um, so you can see that there are so many possible answers. There's, but it must be logical. All right, okay, next question. Okay, this one, I want to see, okay, anyone? Okay, okay. All right, draw a class diagram. Uh, any answer? Anyone wants to try?
Macam dia? Blue langsung ke apa? You all can. So, this one is class, right? This is class. Okay, this is the body lah. Function. So, this is this start this one end. Right. And then we have same another class. Okay, so this one I don't have toilet lah. And you got another one, class subject. Okay, so, so how to draw this? So you will have student. Okay, and then you will have subject. So far lah. Okay. And then you have to remember there are other classes exist in this snippet as well. Button and address. See? So, you will have button here. And then, I just put it here lah, tak buat lah. Okay, then, if you get this, uh, okay, one, two, three, four, four marks, or two marks, okay? All right, next is the add info. So, we have, let me put it down. I want to change color. Okay, we have add info, and then what else? We got add, we got add address refer to this one and then we also have register subject okay and for subject we have add subject right so for student at info is definitely here so what is the attribute button and Address. Okay. Okay. So what else? We have add info done. And then is there any function for this one? Oh, register subject. Parameter, no. Ah, for add info, it's not enough because there is a string here. See, string. So, string lah. Okay. Hmm. Okay, and then we know that it has this, all of this. Uh, can I simply change? Oh, tak boleh. Okay, never mind. We have F name, L name, birthday. So we have. Hmm? It's not enough space. Eh? If by right, it should be down there. Lah. All right. And then what else? And then we have add address okay so for add address if you look at here is a part of this one so you don't have to put it here if you notice i put add info and register at a subject it just based on this what's inside the function is not really that important but then it will determine the the attribute of the class as well, and then the relationship with other classes. Okay, so in this case, if you look at this, actually at address is uh, referring to this, referring to this. So 
your address will have lot number, street, you have town, postcode, okay, and country. So it, this, is, this is the situation that I want to show you. This is the typical situation where you need dependency. So the relationship between this and this is dependency. Okay. Right. So another one is subject. It cannot be just there, right? So subject, where is it? Where is our subject? We got at subject. So I have at subject. Last subject. Stream. Okay. So I'm not sure what are the attribute inside that, but then it looks like you can have the relationship between student and subject to be registered. Anything lah, up to you. This one. Register can or at subject can, if you have no idea, you just copy from the function inside the operation pool, it's okay. I understand. Student is a registered subject. Okay, any question? So basically, the answer is like this, the beautiful one. Ah, okay. Doctor, I have one question. Yes. Why student is depend on button and address? Why not vice versa? Oh, because uh no, cannot. It's not vice versa. Depends on button because student uh, cannot run because student has add info function. So it means if uh, it, uh, it means that if you remove button, definitely student kaput cannot run. Oh, so the argument is depend. Depend on button. Depend on an, an argument. Ah. Uh -huh. And that one is a little bit different from a composition. If you really read the PowerPoint, the composition, the main thing about composition, the, the dependency on the attribute, the attribute part. Attribute, ne? Ah, here. Let's say I have something, uh, another attribute lah, apa ah? Uh, Okay, let's say instead of birth date, I have as a class, as a class lah. So this one is a composition. Uh, another question, uh, is it ne uh, really necessary to write the data type like string, date and so on? So it's mentioned in the code. Data tag, what do you mean data tag? Oh, this one string eh? Oh, no, no. Yes. This one is not, this one is uh, optional. This one optional. Okay. But the F name, L name, birth date, uh, that one you have to mention because it's in the code. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, last question. Uh, I have a question. For the relationship between student and subject, can I make it a one to many instead of many to many? Okay. I mean, a one to many. Okay, one to many. It means that one student can register many subject, right? Yeah. Right. So one subject, how many student can register? Oh. Uh, many. Yeah, many. Ah, that's why I put one to many. One to many. Sometimes people put many. Many, many student register many subject. 
So in database is not a good one lah. They have, you have to break. But then that is the situation lah. I see, I see. I understand. Mm. Thank you, Doctor. Right. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you very much. See you next week on Tuesday. Uh, please be punctual because uh, I will start with lecture first. I'm not sure. I'm not sure whether it's a lecture first or then test. Or test first and then lecture. I'm not sure. Okay. I not say anything by now because it's so online. I, quite believe I have to think about all the risk now. But then please be punctual next week on, on Tuesday at 9. Okay? All right. See you. Bye. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, Dr. Bye-bye.